Occupational therapy really helps the individual with whatever their main occupation is in, in, at their current time of life. So I happen to work with kids and their main occupation is to play. Um, and a lot of the kids that I work with have trouble playing for various reasons, maybe motor skill deficit, communication deficit, um, socially things are hard. So, you know, the occupation of children is to play. We work with people when they have an injury or a deficit or an illness, be able to have, do the occupations of life, which could be, you know, activities of daily living, getting dressed, brushing their teeth, cooking a meal. Um, and so when somebody, for example, may have a stroke, you know, now they have right side paralysis, well, they're right-handed, how are we gonna get them to figure out and learn or relearn how to put on their socks, brush their teeth, that kind of thing. I found the drum lesson to be super challenging to my, what I would call motor planning. So that is a huge piece of occupational therapy and motor planning is having the idea of what to do, being able to plan and sequence it and execute it. Well, I totally knew what I was supposed to do. But putting all of that together and, and all the, and it was one lesson, like simple stuff, but like coordinating everything that I had to do was really, really challenging for me. And I consider myself actually a really coordinated person. So I thought it kind of frustrated me because I was like, why am I not good at this? And it really helped me to see, you know, this is what these kids that I work with go through. These things are not easy, they are not instinctual. Um, they don't just know how to move their body. So that's sort of how I was like, wow, this is a really good task that takes a lot of, if it you know, were my job, like a lot of breaking it down so that kids can be successful. Or maybe even me. <laughs> <laughs> I would say try it. Um, I think kind of seeking seeking out the right person is important, but I think parents spend a lot of time trying to find the right person when you got to just try it and see what clicks and what doesn't, because these kids will surprise you. Um, you know, and then obviously if it doesn't work, you can move on. But I think I think parents get bogged down in the trying to find the best fit and the best situation, and almost spend too much time analyzing their kid. So I think my best advice would be just dive in there and try it because you'll all everyone will learn something. <laughs>